Hey, what's up everyone? I am really, 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 really excited to have my voice back and to have a strong voice again because I don't like talking like this very much and I definitely don't like chimmering when I talk. So I'm very, very happy uh, to have my voice and have my energy back. And I want to say this. So look, I'm, I've am i been microdosing Rick Simpson oil and it, it's definitely helped, but I've been using the Rife machine back there and um, multiple treatments now. And what I can tell you is this, the energy that was just flying through my body uncontrollably, like I was hooked up to some electric <laughs> electric factory, I forgot what those things are called. Um, it, like that's all under control. So now again, it's it, the, 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 the few trimmers that I'm having, and it's just very few. And my, and my voice is strong and uh, but the few trimmers that I have, they don't really hurt, and it doesn't feel like that electric burning that it's felt like for several days. So that is a huge blessing, um, and I feel strong in my body again. Not like a crazy, freakish, supernatural uh, strength that I was having before, uh, which was just uncontrollable. Now it just feels like I'm, you know, strong and healthy and feel good. Um, and so here's my regimen. This is what I've been doing. Uh, I started doing the Rife machine a couple days ago, two days ago. I've been microdosing Rick Simpson oil for two day, or three days because um, I got that a day sooner. Yeah, Rick Simpson oil, three days. Uh, the Rife machine, two days. And Geno Stem the entire time. And I'm, listen, I know I'm talking about a product and I don't, if you, I'm just sharing with you what my doctor shared with me. And in there, in my medication recommendation list, it says right there that the two GenoStem products that I take, the, the, the one with the zinc and the vitamin C and the hexatide peptides, that one, and then the pro, if those two on this sheet, my doctors are telling me to keep taking along with my HIV meds. And even though my HIV meds, like, I'm blown away. My lab results, my CD4 and CD8 counts are perfect, like a normal person. Like, there's no, and when they test me, there's no, uh, what do you call it when there's, um, that they leave the, they leave something behind. Ah, I forgot the name of it. Oh, that's terrible. Anyway, metabolites or something, they, they leave behind, and so... That's how they know that it's always there in your body. But when they test for it now, there's nothing there. You can't see it. Is this a freakish thing? Like, can I quit taking my medicine? I'm not that confident yet. But, wow, amazing. I mean, to have perfect CD4 and CD8 counts, my liver perfect, my heart perfect, my, ev my eyes and everything is perfect. Cholesterol, heart. It's, it's the doctor's told me to keep taking GenoStem because it was working and they had the lab reports to prove it because they could see my labs over the years, they could see my health, and they could see where it is now because, you know, when you go into the hospital, you're supposed to show them everything you're taking. So the doctors told me, because I told them about the Rife machine, they said, use the Rife machine, see a neuro movement specialist, which is what I'm going about to start doing, Keep taking RSO, yeah, my neurologist said that, and keep taking GenoStem. So, that is my regimen, and that is what's making me better. And so, I am so thankful to everyone for all of the support, all of the love, um, all of the encouragement, even the people that have said mean things. Your mean things don't bother me, I promise you. <laughs> like, you can say anything you want about me, because... I, <laughs> I mean, have you not read what I've said about myself? I mean, you can't, you can't hurt my feelings. I'm not wired that way. Um, like, I, I just almost died again. <laughs> As if the six overdoses that I had in my life were, were not enough. I almost just died within this last two weeks, or felt like I was dying, saying my goodbyes to people that I love. And you want to talk trash to me? That's the weirdest thing. Like, in the name of Jesus, you're talking trash to me. <laughs> I don't.
don't know what church you go to, but um, anyway, um, I'm, listen, if that's the way that you express your love for Jesus is harassing people on Twitter, go for it. I mean, I celebrate my love for Jesus differently, but do, do you, I'm not here to tell you how to live your life. Anyway, um, that said, I, even, even the negative stuff is all it did really was just show me that I'm on the right path because here's the thing. If I'm living a lie and I'm not being what I'm supposed to be or living the way I'm supposed to be doing and, and I'm, but again, I'm living an inauthentic life that's phony and then you come after me and make fun of me for those things. Well, guess what? I'm just going to change and I'm going to become something else. That's how you know someone's a phony when they change who they are. Unless they say, hey, I learned the hard way. I thought this was true and then come to find out it's not true. And a lot of us are dealing with that right now, are we not? Anyway, in my case, I don't mind the negative things at all because I'm living my truth. And you don't have to like it, but I don't pretend to be some choir boy. I don't even, I don't even go around calling myself a Christian. I don't even like that word. Do I love Jesus? Oh, absolutely. I love Jesus and I love God and I serve God for the best of my ability. But I'm not trying to tell you how to live your life. And I'm definitely not going to sit here and try to tell you what is right or wrong. But I don't act like the moral police either because I'm not the moral police. I'm just here to do the best I can and help as many people as I can and to be used by God the best that I can. And you know what? Sometimes my... My old man gets in the way, so to speak, and sometimes that happens. But guess what? God still loves me and I still move forward. And then when I do mess up and I do make mistakes, I do ask for forgiveness because that is very important. Forgiveness is a very important thing. But that said, coming after me in the name of Jesus to try to hurt me or try to tell me that I'm condemned to hell because I don't read the King James Version of the Bible uh, that's not going to really resonate with me, nor hurt me, or scare me into reading the King James Bible, because you know what? I you can I, I, I it just doesn't bother me. <laughs> that's all I got to say. I have nothing nice to say, so I'm not going to say anything else. Listen, God bless all of you. Thank you for your prayers. Big ups to Rife, Matthew, his team, Amber. Thank you because I believe in this treatment now. I am seeing improvement. I can tell inside my body that it's it's helping and it's complementing what else I'm doing. Also, again, I know the Rick Simpson oil is working and helping too. So it is a synergistic approach I'm taking. I'm grateful to the Genostem peptides. I'm grateful for the love and support and prayers. I feel the prayers. I feel them. And I'm sincerely grateful. I'm grateful to have learned. Um, I mean, like I've had people reach out that I didn't even know I knew existed and have offered encouragement and that's inspiring. So what I would like for you to do today, because you all have been so inspiring for me, is that you be, um, in, be a source of inspiration for someone else today, um, or do something nice for someone today. You've encouraged me, uh, and I'm so grateful and I appreciate the prayers. Um, but there's a lot of other people that are hurting right now. And they need our support too. So let's, um, if I could offer anything today, let's seek out someone to bless. Let's seek to be a blessing to someone else today. And I think that if we collectively do that, we can make a real big movement today for good. God bless you. I'm not going to do a broadcast today. This is the video. I'm going to rest and spend time with my family uh, and get well. Much love to you all. God bless you and see you soon.